One of the problems with e-commerce brands is selling stickers profitably because it can get really expensive to pick and pack stickers for your brand if you're using a third party warehouse or some sort of other fulfillment center because it just gets really expensive to pick one sticker at a time. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about some of the ins and outs of how you can use stickers profitably in your business. Hey, what's up? I'm Zach. I'm the founder of Sticky, the world's first and only sticker marketing agency where we help businesses build a community of raving fans using stickers. If you're interested in using stickers in your marketing strategy, which you should be, keep watching these videos because stickers are both more complex and more valuable than you might expect. So most people want to sell stickers for their business, but maybe they're not fulfilling the orders by themselves. If you're shipping out of your house, God bless you, but <laughs> most people shouldn't be shipping if they're trying to scale a business and to sell more and more items because trust me, that can get complex and really intense. So if you're using a third party fulfillment center, how do you use stickers and how do you sell stickers profitably? If you're not familiar with 3PL, third party logistics, shipping, or you're using a warehouse where they're picking your stuff, what they charge you is a pick and pack fee for each item. So let's say you have these stickers and they're sitting on a shelf and you want to sell them. For each time they have to pick something, it costs a certain amount. So if you're selling stickers, which usually costs you somewhere between 20 and 50 cents, they're picking that off the shelf and that's adding an extra 65 cents or 85 cents to that order. So just for them to pick that sticker up costs a dollar. And then they have to put it into an envelope and ship it, which usually costs somewhere between $2 and $3. So by the time, if you're selling one sticker out the door, it's costing you $5 minimum. Or maybe it's even more if you're selling multiple at a time, because each time it costs that extra pick and pack fee. One of the ways around this cost is using a sticker sheet. So you can order a sheet, they come in various sizes, and it can have multiple stickers on them. They're probably kiss cut or die cut where you can actually peel them off of one sheet. So if you're doing some sort of pick and pack system, that's only one cost for maybe eight to 10 stickers. That's one way. Another way to maximize your sticker investment is to use some sort of packaging. So this is the Live Great Story packaging and it comes with 16 stickers in here. So this only costs one pick and pack fee but they're pulling out 16. So definitely think about using these um, so that you can maximize all of those stickers instead of having each one pulled individually. Now, depending on where you're ordering from, maybe your supplier can even package stickers into whatever you're selling beforehand. So by the time that that journal gets delivered or those t-shirts that are already shrink wrapped or you know any sort of box that you're ordered with all the products maybe when your production happens they can actually slide some stickers in there that way they're only pulling off that item from the shelf and the stickers are already included all of this depends on where you're ordering from and how you're shipping so if you're just starting out you know you have in your room you have all your shirts all your you know e-commerce stuff that you're selling you can grab stickers and package them and it's not that big of a deal. But as you start scaling up and using more and more volume, you wanna think about what's the most strategic way to include stickers in your overall strategy because then you're, you're still utilizing stickers but it's not costing you as much or it's not as inefficient as it could be because it can really get inefficient and costly if you don't watch out. But this is just one of the ways you can use stickers in your marketing strategy. Keep hanging out, keep watching these videos because you do need stickers and you do need to be using them in whatever you're doing for your business as a marketing leg because stickers are really valuable.